I am not one to deprive myself of literally anything. Like I'm a princess and I deserve the best. Therefore, I ate what I wanted to eat. <laughs> channel is Tanya and today I am back to you guys with another new video today's video is going to be the next installment of my Wagobi series in my last video I was giving you guys a few tips and tricks that I learned over the first few months of taking Wagobi and now I have been at my max dose of 1.7 for a little over a month and girl we gotta talk the experience was very very different for me than the previous months so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's video so before we jump into the Wagobi specifics y'all know I gotta show y'all some progress photos progress photos are by far my favorite part of like documenting this weight loss journey because there are often times where you feel like your efforts are in vain and you're really just not hitting the mark like you want to but then you look back at the photos and you're just like <laughs> wait a minute I see it so I'm gonna just go ahead and give you guys a breakdown on kind of where I'm at weight wise compared to before when I gave you guys my last um what kind of weight loss update video so I did share with you guys that I met my goal of losing 30 pounds um by the end of last year when I hit that goal it was prior to Christmas so it was this was like early December and around that time, I was weighing in at 180. And I also told y'all that I am not one to deprive myself of literally anything. Like I'm a princess and I deserve the best. Therefore, I ate what I wanted to eat throughout the holiday season because the girl that only comes around once a year and next year ain't promised. But I ended up gaining about five pounds, so that put me at 185. This was this was kind of my starting weight when I started the Wagobi 1.7. So by the time I finished my first month of the Wagobi 1.7, I was weighing in at 177.4. And it's been a while, y'all. It has been a while since I have seen 170 anything on the scale. So I was super duper excited. Now let's get into these photos, okay? This is what I looked like when I hit my weight loss goal for the end of last year, which was 180. So this is what I looked like at the 180. I went up to 185. And then by the end of the first box of 1.7, I was down to 177.4. And this is what the 177.4 looks like on me. So if you take out the fact that you know I was up five pounds the overall difference between these photos is literally three pounds which isn't a lot but if you look at the photos there is clearly a visual difference especially if you look around the tummy waist area like she is coming on in the hips are coming on in and my favorite part about this photo is that I'm maintaining my shape like I'm keeping the curves and that was the goal like I want to slim down but I don't want to look like a stick figure okay <laughs> I need my curves. People pay good money for those curves, okay? And I want to keep mine because I was blessed with mine for free. For those of you who are new here, I have been documenting this weight loss journey since the beginning of 2023. And this was way before I ever started doing the Wagobi. And I'm just sitting here looking at these photos, looking at how far I have come. But anyways, let's get back into the facts about this Wagobi. Like, yes, my results were good, but let me tell you, my my experience with the Wagobi 1.7 was so drastic different from my experience with any of the other doses because in general I really didn't have much trouble with those introductory doses. The side effects that I experienced weren't anything that actually disrupted my day-to-day -day life but baby when I started at 1.7 things things were very different. The two side effects that I feel like affected me most were fatigue and nausea. I wasn't having any issues with that previously but when I went up to 1.7 my stomach was just very sensitive to everything. Like even my go-to meals, my go-to foods, I was just very, very sensitive to every single thing when I started it. And when you increase your dose, it's likely that you'll experience some new symptoms and you kind of just have to give your body time to get used to it, which is what I was trying to do. But honestly, it took a lot of trial and error to really figure out what was going on. And at this point, I am on the next box of 1.7 on my second shot and I feel like I'm just figuring it out. Cause honestly, I was about to quit. I was about to quit with the shot because with this and the fatigue, which I'll talk about a little later, was just, it was just too much. Like, 
I was just like, I don't know if this is worth it. I don't know if I should continue. But at the same time, I already had these shots in my fridge that I already paid my hard earned money for. So I was like, mm, we may not get another box, but baby, we gonna finish this one. I can guarantee you that. So I was just like, oh, I know exactly what I can eat, what I can't eat around shot day. And I was totally wrong, um, which then caused me to like feel sick and my stomach was hurting. And you know, there were times where I was like constantly running to the bathroom. I was just like, all right, this is too much. So I completely abandoned my intuitive eat. I started eating the type of diet that you eat when you have a stomach bug. Like you're just eating carbs, you're eating crackers, you're eating like, I was eating a lot of plain bagels, crackers, whatever I could tolerate at the time until I felt better and then I could try something else and try to figure it out. Well, like I said, it was a lot of trial and error. Like the nausea, I was like, okay, I'll, this is my max dose. I'm probably gonna experience some nausea, but the fatigue was next level. Like the fatigue had me feeling like I had the flu. Like I just did not want to get out of bed. I could not get out of bed. I felt like I had been hit by a bus. Like I just could not get out of bed. I was just like, oh my God, am I getting sick? Like is something actually wrong with me or is this just a side effect? But otherwise, you know, I didn't have symptoms of anything else. And then when it was shot time again and I felt the same way, I was like, okay, it's definitely the shot. So we gotta figure something out. Cause I can't, like, I gotta work, y'all. I gotta work. I'm a nine to five girl. YouTube don't pay a single bill in this house. So I gotta go to work. And I can't do that and be productive when I am experienced that much fatigue. I tried taking, you know, D3 and B12 vitamins. Did absolutely nothing for me. I went back to talk to my doctor about it and we decided to change my shot schedule, meaning I am no longer doing a shot every single week. I now do my Wagobi shot every 10 days and that has been better for me. So if you are experiencing similar side effects, I highly, highly suggest bringing this up to your doctor. Talk about changing your schedule because you do have some flexibility there, especially when you get up to that maximum dose. Now, when you're, you know, slowly but surely increasing your dose, I don't know if you can really um, extend it to 10 days or not. Like I said, talk to your doctor. I don't know because I was good on those doses. But when it came up to that 1.7, we are now doing uh, every 10 days. And I actually tried that with my last shot and it did really well. I was not as tired. I still get kind of sleepy afterwards, so I do my shot in the evenings. But the next day, the fatigue isn't as bad since I switched to the 10 days. But now I feel like, okay, I know what to expect. I know what to do and I can get back into my routine because I did not have any sort of routine while I was going through this very difficult phase of like trial and error, trying to figure out how to best use this shot. I think I finally landed on something that worked and I know how to proceed now, so. You know, I'm about to kick it back into high gear. I will start coming back to you guys, giving you what I eat in a day videos, but girl, I, I couldn't make those videos because I wasn't eating, I wasn't eating anything but crackers and bagels and like toasted strudels and a bunch of stuff that I know I should not be eating, but your girl had to get some nutrition from somewhere. Once I finish this pack of shots, I will come back to you guys and give you an update, let you know how things are going. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell so you do not miss the upload. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.